Now, chapter 12, exercise 12.1. Choose the correct alternative from the clues given at the end of the each statement. A. The size of the atom in Thomson's model is blank the atomic size in Rutherford's model. So options much greater than, no different from, much less than. So it is no different from atomic size was established. Radius of the order of 10 raised to minus 10 meter. So we have to give answer no different from. B. In ground state of blank electrons are in stable equilibrium while in blank electrons always experience a net force. Options Thomson's model or Rutherford's model. So in first blank here we have to take Thomson's model. So we can say in the ground state of Thomson's models, electrons are in stable equilibrium. Because in that we considered this thing, entire positive charge is uniformly distributed in the atom and electrons are embedded in it. So it will be in stable equilibrium from all the directions, the force will be balanced. While in Rutherford's model, electrons always experience a net force because in Rutherford's model, the entire positive charge is at the center in the nucleus and electrons are revolving around it. It implies that definitely there will be some net force which will provide the required centripetal then and then only the motion will be sustained. C. A classical atom based on blank is doomed to collapse in Thomson's model or Rutherford's model. So answer is Rutherford's model. A classical atom based on Rutherford's model is doomed to collapse. We already discussed in the theory. If electron is revolving around the nucleus, then continuously it will emit the energy and move on a spiral path. And finally, it will be at rest in the nucleus. D. An atom has a nearly continuous mass distribution in blank, but has a highly non-uniform mass distribution in what? So, an atom has a nearly continuous mass distribution in a Thomson's model, because in that we consider the entire positive charge is uniformly distributed and electrons are embedded in it. It implies that mass distribution is continuous in the entire atom. But in Rutherford's model, we discussed this thing, almost entire mass is concentrated at the center. So, but has a highly non-uniform mass distribution that is in Rutherford's model. Clear? Le first blank ma apre Thomson's lakhwanu, second ma Rutherford's model. <laughs> e. The positively charged part of the atom possesses most of the mass in what? Rutherford's model or both the model? So it is in both the models. Clear to all of you?